We told you guys that the next DJI drone to be released would come to our channel. In fact, we had about a thousand dollars set aside all year long waiting on the next big DJI thing. Luckily for us, this only comes in at $399, which means we got to buy a couple big giant trucks on our channel. And luckily for us, we had an awesome little secret Santa, fan of the channel, friend of the channel, I should yes. say. Uh, he decided to give us his on loan. He hasn't loan. even opened it. Right. He just said, here, do some videos, and then just give it back. Well, we'll send it to him. So actually, Abby and I had this little guy on pre-order. We decided to pick it up, even though the uh, budget was hurting quite a bit from those giant trucks. And he then contacted us, mm -hmm. and because ours was late on shipping, we decided yeah. to cancel our order. We ordered our straight from DJI, and people who ordered on Amazon were getting theirs before the DJI orders. Within at least a week or so. So yes, we do know that we're late to the game. and Better uh, late than never? That, that's, that's what I, I think. I don't know. And if Abby and I, through our experience with this, if we fall in love with it, we've decided we're going to send his back and maybe buy one of our own. Basically, if we feel like this is leaps and bounds better than our DJI Spark, then, we'll get then we're going to buy it for sure and probably sell our Spark. But if we feel like there's not that much of a difference to really commit to the purchase ourselves, then we're just going to keep our Spark and keep flying that because we love our Spark. Yeah. Absolutely love it. This video is just an unboxing. Yes, so be sure to subscribe so you can see our first flight and maybe a follow-up flight or so before we give us back to our friend. And it's really just our experience. If you're watching this video and you're here for a ton of tech specs, this is just our experience. Yeah. A lot of people, if you're new to our channel, believe it or not, <laughs> a lot of people like to know our opinion and our experience of something because if it's negative we're going to tell you guys we are not like dji they have some good products and some bad products and they don't like us very much because we are honest yes so we haven't looked at anybody else's videos we haven't done a ton of research on this drone we mainly just know the main features. It's the lightest weight drone DJI has ever made. Mm -hmm. um, it has a 3X's camera and it's a 2.7K camera. Right. I, uh, <clears throat> I intentionally did not watch in, oh, let me get my knife. I intentionally haven't watched a single video of any way on this because I want my experience with this to be just a true, fun, natural experience. Not tainted by others. Yeah. Opinions. I don't want it to be, I don't want some people that could have gotten it for free to be like, this is the best thing ever because that's kind of what happened when we bought our Inspire. Mm -hmm. We were told by people that we thought we could trust that it was awesome and it was not, at least Gen 1. I'm not saying it's not an awesome This is now. how it came with the, this is the fly more. And so the memory card that came with it is just out. <laughs> I do know that this is a $399 drone, so it's under $400. That's a great price point. And the Fly More package, in my opinion, is on the only way to go. If you yes. have the extra $100, let's face it, if you're spending $400 on a drone, you probably have an extra $100. Buy the Fly More package because, from what I've seen, this case is really nice. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I like that. I uh, like the case. It's much better than the Spark Purse. Do you guys remember the Spark, the spark Purse? The Spark Purse was horrible. They finally, I think they watched our video and they were like, yeah, you know what? That is a soft purse, which is so dumb. I really <laughs> like the color of the case. That is just a neat fleece, like down to earth color. I like it. I think it's something that men and women can both appreciate. I, I like it. It reminds me stylish. of like, um, What's that brand of coat that everybody wears It's overpriced? North Face. No. Kind of reminds me of a North Face print or something. No. <laughs> to me it does. No, not even close. <laughs> okay. Well, that goes to show you my clothing expertise. So Dan, is... what do you have? What is In that? here I have the very oh, okay. large, clunky, and awkward uh, cage. The prop guards. prop guards. That's much bigger than I thought would be needed for this, but me okay. Too. I have some boxes in here. I just... And... <laughs> That's it. That's empty box. Now I know we've flown about a thousand drones on our channel, but still to this day, it very much surprises me that anyone would ever need prop guards. Well, here's the thing. A lot of photographers, newbie drone people <laughs> yeah. buy DJI products. We know photographers that have bought 1500 DJI Mavic 2s. That's a mistake. And crash them that's, that's because they drone. don't know how to fly. 
So if you've literally never flown a drone, I don't know where you've been the last five years, but if you've never, maybe you've flown a drone, but you just don't understand how you're doing it completely on your own, put these on. Yeah, but I would, I would also advise that this drone should not be your first drone. It should drone. not be your first. You, you need, need to, to learn how to fly a drone on a $15 indoor drone or, or a $15, $20 outdoor little toy, uh, little uh, not hobby grade drone. Even even fifty dollar drones exist that have flight assistance that's going to act more like this. I feel like we should just keep the suspense going. You open the yeah, because I'm I'm excited. No, who cares about the instructions? I'm guessing that's, that's what that is. Yeah, you gotta check. That's what's in there. You gotta check. <laughs> Look at that three three T batteries. Look how small these batteries okay, are. Okay, let me feel a battery. The three batteries are in it. this. I did not think that's where they would be. Let me feel a battery. Let me get them see. out. Okay. All right. I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm pretty excited about this drone. I really am because we had one on. Battery. The first. I, okay, that's just as heavy as I would have expected. But it they're larger than the Spark batteries, aren't they? No. You charge the Spark batteries more than I ever. I charge them all the time. That's about the same size as a Spark battery. Okay. Almost exactly the same physical size, except they've made sure it's very proprietary. And of course, you could never use your Spark battery on no. this. No, it's extremely different looking. Yeah. That's kind of crazy how they continually change their batteries and their battery designs and their battery plugs. One thing Always. I see on here, and yes, they have to shave a lot of things to hit that weight, is no lights. There's no light indicator? No light indicator on the battery. So mm -hmm. they may still be smart batteries to like discharge intelligent batteries, but there are no light indicators on the battery. To check. Right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, you cannot see your battery level. Yeah, so old DJI products had light bars that told you how much charge was in the battery so you knew if you needed to charge your batteries or I, your last charge was enough. I totally understand they have to shave a lot of features, okay, I get that. Where's but the cord? Do LEDs weigh that much? I'm a little disappointed by that because that's one of the nicest things when you're getting a DJI product. Okay, it could be in here. Okay, be in I, here. Got, I got the wall adapter but no cord. Three batteries. I, I don't really know what's going on. That's with fine. That. I'm, I'm sure it's in here. It's got to be in here. Yeah. Here so we go. here we go. This is this is the uh, crazy moment of truth here. Let's oh, get the drone so out. It's cute. very. It's tiny. It's oh, a light it's... gray. It's light gray. I like that because the old Mavics were like a darker gray, mm -hmm. like this color gray. But it's wow. the text on this gray. It. Uh, if this wasn't. If this didn't have the name DJI on it. Let, let me just. Wow, that feels cheap. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It feels cheap. It feels like a cheap piece of plastic. Wow. But I understand. I it's get why. It's supposed to be lightweight. Yes, I get that. And yes, it is lightweight. And I'm sure we're dealing with a premium product here. I cannot wait to fly this in wind. Don't you think that's what people would want to see? Well, and I'm sure there are probably videos out there having it in the wind. I don't know. We haven't watched it. I haven't watched a single video because I want to have an unbiased <sighs> and untainted Please remove experience. the gimbal protector before taking off. Duh. Right. Yeah. So we want, we want to have that pure experience with ours where n nothing is misconstrued. I'm taking off this tape stuff. The three axis gimbal looks nice. Yes, so that's the huge improvement from the, well, our, I mean, a lot, a lot of people, you know, we, we missed the Mavic Air. We didn't buy that. So for us, yeah, we're going maybe. from our smallest hobby grade drone is our Spark. So we're going from 1080p and a two axis gimbal to 2K and three axis gimbal. I mean, they've shaved it down to the bare bone basics of what I think drone flyers need, which is you don't need collision detection and all that. So there's no collision on this? No. That you see? No, there's none. There's none. What? There's none. To Not even that, forward facing? No, it's just like a little black piece of plastic. No collision detection. Yes, it does have the sensors on the bottom of the drone, so you know, you know, to help land and probably that there's, is no, there's no so sonar. Crazy. It definitely feels light and cheap. It really does. Like, I mean, it feels cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. Crazy. When I saw... I like it, but it's like, my brain is telling me don't like it. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's so cheap. lightweight feeling. Uh, when I saw the leaked photos of this, because we all did, when we heard it was coming out, I saw this little battery hatch door on the back and I said, no. There's no way that's DJI's we design have because... so many cheap drones with that style. Exactly. There's a lot of cheap drones 
that do that. Yeah, yeah just... non-hobby grade drones do that. Yeah, this is, so when we get the battery in here, I think we can check the battery level. There were, like I see that. four okay. lights on the bottom of the drone. Hmm. Okay, well, we're, not I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not gonna power everything on yet. I'm, I'm sure it's a double tap and hold, but I was hoping that by short pressing, it would show the battery level. When the battery's in there, it obviously adds, I think, I think from feeling it, that feels Quite a bit like of weight. The, the battery feels like over half the weight. Yeah. You gotta think this is about half a pound, right? That is extremely lightweight. Look at the charging dock. Yeah, the batteries nice. slide into it. I like that. That's a nice dock. Any light indicators on that? There would have to be because yeah, four on lights. The top. Okay. That, this doesn't have to be under a certain weight or anything. That's yeah. interesting. And okay. okay, let's look at the controller because that doesn't have to be, they didn't have to cut corners on the controller. Is it a different controller from the Spark and the Mavic and you know, all the others? Let's see. Yes, it is. And they have opted into letting you take the, uh, or at least it comes like this with the thumb pieces off. I don't know why they did that. Why would they only give you three spare props? Oh, no, I like this. Look at this, Abby. Look, the, uh, these come off. Oh, they're hidden compartments. Uh huh. And then they, okay. assume, I assume they snap in place or. How does the place. transmitter feel? Does it feel? It screws into place. Does it feel lightweight no. and kind of cheapish? No, it feels very good quality. Yeah, very good quality. I, I'm personally quite excited about this drone. I think it's, it's really cool what they're doing. Okay? Did you see it only came with three spare props? Uh, that doesn't seem right. There should be a. There's only three in this box. Honey, there's six spare props. Six there's spare props. Two in each bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are. <laughs> Still, it's a weird number. Why not eight? <laughs> or four. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so the, the transmitter looks pretty good. The one thing I notice here is that there is no display okay. at all. Um, so that's similar to the Spark. I mean, the Mavic has the display with all of the telemetry on there. Okay, I found an antenna. Feels good though. Feels really good. And some cords. You know what? Feel these, feel these joysticks or gimbals and you tell me what you think. Because I have an opinion. I don't know what that is. You have an opinion? Mm -hmm. Really just move them around some. They feel tight. Feel tight, yes. I agree. And circles. Do a little bit of circle movement. The circle movement, it's very clicky. Blocky and clicky. Yeah, it it's doesn't not. doesn't feel smooth. that good. Yeah. Hmm. Not a huge fan of that. Not that you're out there doing race drone Yeah, maneuvers. and it's not an airplane, so no. I don't think that matters much. No, so most people probably won't notice it. And the fact that it, they're kind of tight would help a beginner pilot not... You know, like a lot of people are going to go full and then they kind of do what I used to do with this kind of stuff, flicking it. Not if you're a gamer, nobody does that. Okay, people that don't play games, like the photographers, a big market for this type of drone. A lot of photographers play games. Don't know about that. <laughs> USB cord, this is what you were looking for earlier. This is just three different adapters in here to go from the, ra the controller to your phone. So depending on what kind of phone you have, they have a different adapter mm -hmm. in there for each one. They should have that, that's to be expected. Here are some extra screws because those screws are what's holding the props on. Those are Phillips screws holding each prop on. Very interesting. So this is the charging cable. Oh, that's just a micro USB, a full okay, size good. USB. Mm -hmm. So this is what plugs into your wall adapter and then into the charging bay? Yep, that's right. You would travel with this. Yes, that's what this, this is This for. is a travel drone. You want to keep this in your car. You know, not on hot summer days or anything that's bad for your batteries, not on cold days that's bad for your batteries. But when you're out and about, you take this with you. It's a very travel friendly drone. I'm surprised at the weight. I'm, uh, I'm yeah. Feels much lighter and much cheaper and chintzier. It's pretty wild. I'll guys. bet this isn't very crash proof, which now makes me happy to see this. Because a new pilot, if you're going to crash, oh. you're going to want this. Yeah, because no, it'll destroy it. That, that's going to snap in half the first time you hit anything. I'm excited to fly this though. Oh, like, me too. I want to see this extremely ultra light drone yeah. rock solid in the air. Yeah. Because with DJI, I expect no less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Guys. I'm excited too. Make I sure you too. subscribe so you can see our very, very first flight. Basically, we're going to go charge the batteries. Wow. And then the next time you see this on our channel, it'll probably be this same day, <gasps> maybe magic, and it'll be our first flight. So 
subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see this in the air because Look at the, I'm so excited. The motors are super low profile. It's crazy. You see that? It's oh, crazy. They're not tall. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. And, and remember, we had this on pre-order with our own hard-earned money. Mm -hmm. We want this drone. We want it to be good. You know, mm -hmm. we just had an opportunity where a friend is loaning us there so we can decide if we want to buy it. If we want to buy it or not, yeah. So thank you again to you. You know who you are. Yeah. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time in the first flight. Bye!